Welcome to Inside Amusements, your number one podcast about yesterday, today, and tomorrow's amusements. With your hosts, Brian, Chris, and Eric. I'm Joe, the producer, and this is episode number 10, Teenage Hangouts. And now, here's Brian. Thanks, Joe. Well, let's dive into the news here. Uh, looks like in the video game world, looks like the Call of Duty series is going to be releasing uh, Modern Warfare 2 on their current uh, generation uh, gaming system. So I believe that would be the Xbox One, Xbox X, Series X, uh, Series S, uh, PlayStation 5. So uh, actually, Modern Warfare 2 is an older game from Call of Duty, but they are actually revamping it on the newer uh, game architecture. So story, everything, graphics, all that's going to be updated. So it's going to look great and play great. But uh, I, I'm really excited for it. Uh, it's it's going to be a pretty cool release. Yeah, Brian, I remember uh, growing up and playing that game a lot with my brother and friends. And um, so that's really exciting that they're bringing that one back. Um, we also have in more news, uh, there's a small little independent amusement park up in uh, Hamilton, Ohio which is a little bit outside of Cincinnati. It's called Stricker's Grove. Now, they open to the public on July 4th. Uh, what's crazy is they only have four days where they're open to the public. So um, if you want to check out this small a little amusement park, you know, get some credits in, um, you know, definitely check out their website, look up, look up those days. Um, and just enjoy yourself. It's a it's a small little family owned place. Really, really cool. Um, but just go have a day out of it, and uh, you'll have a great time, I'm sure. And, yeah, man. Uh, we we have a lot of memories at uh, Stricker's Grove, don't we, Brian? Oh yeah, yeah, a lot. Cool yeah. place. <laughs> it's a cool place. Definitely a cool place. But we're gonna kick it over to Brian because that's all for this trip around the news carousel. <laughs> And starting off this episode, we were coming up with ideas on uh, what can we do our next episode on? And I thought about it and thought about it. And I went through the old neighborhood the other day and I started reminiscing about a lot of the old places I used to go to as a, a teen, you know, kind of hangouts and places I used to love to go to. Um, you know, of course, a lot of them aren't, aren't there anymore, but um I was at, it was in Northgate, uh, which is just north of Cincinnati where uh, Joe and I grew up. And uh, I, I noticed that they had built a Kroger where one of my hangouts used to be. It was uh, the old Putt Putt and McDonald's uh, at the corner of Springdale and Corrine Avenue. Uh, that, that was kind of the go to place on Friday nights and Saturday nights too, uh, you know, growing up. But I, I just remembered all the times, you know, having fun, doing a lot of different things and going to different places. But, uh, yeah, that's just I figure, you know, let's do an episode on, uh, you know, some of our favorite uh, hangouts as teens, you know, where we went and all that. And, you know, were they still there? What's there now? We lived, you know, close to the mall, uh, all walking distance. Uh, and then across the way was McDonald's. And then Putt Putt was right next door to to, to McDonald's, <laughs> right? Yeah. So oh, yeah. we could hit like three different places all on foot, um, you know, as a kid before we, we could even drive. Well, then the movie theater was in the parking lot in the mall. That's right. And the so, movie theater, just to, yeah. uh, to top it all off. And then, um, you know, you would kind of, you would kind of pregame a little bit before you went out, you would hit the, the mall. And then of course the mall itself, you know, an arcade, you know, you get the food court, um, and really just walking around. I mean, it's it, kids still do that today, right? Just, you know, is a mall still a place to hang out? I don't know. I figure most of them are on social media and on their phones. I mean, you yeah. got to remember back then, you know, that was the only way we communicated was we met up a big group of people. Yep. Uh, you know, you, you might call somebody um, or somebody might have a pager. You, you page them. But, I mean, that's, that's how everything got started planned and all that we we met met up and did all the planning 
Yeah. And sometimes it would be like during school, you know, you would talk about it during school. <laughs> you, you would kind of set your plans then and then come Friday night or Saturday night or both, you know, you had a meetup spot, right? And usually it was the mall or, or something like that for us. But um, yeah, man, really, uh, re- really fun stuff. I'm just, like I said, I was curious to see if teenagers were still walking around in the malls with nothing to do. But um, I think they, I think they are. You can go during like, during the week, especially up to like Kenwood and you see all these teenagers and it's like, I walk mm-hmm. around it or I'm going shopping. I'm like, man, aren't you guys supposed to be in school? What's going on right now? But they're yeah. still hanging. They're still hanging out at the mall. Even on a, like a Friday or Saturday night, like right before close. Yeah. I mean, okay. uh, a yeah. couple of them like actually put in curfews. Um, just, yeah, you I know, think I knew that was issues happening. And, yeah. you know, it happens teenagers being teenagers, but yeah, they're definitely still hanging out. Um, and that was definitely one of you know my favorite spots to go. You just walk around, grab an Annie Ann's pretzel, cause a little havoc, and uh, you got yourself a good Friday night. Don't tell your parents. <laughs> were, were you one of the ones, Eric, that got chased by security? I have a story about that. We can say it later, <laughs> and it is it is fine to say. I will I didn't get in any trouble, but yes, the malls were the obvious hangout spots. Um. You know, putt putt for me again, and same for Brian. Uh, it just the fact that it was close, and putt putt also had um, sort of an inside arcade or game room. Um, but you know, some of the obvious ones there. But I'm curious, Eric, do you have something outside of the mall or any of those obvious spots? You know, as a teenage hangout, teenage hangout. Yeah, um, a lot of times, especially when I was in high school, uh, we. Uh, go over to my friend's house on Friday nights and, you know, you, we'd usually end up staying the night. Um, we all were musicians and so we'd write music or we just play, you know, we just play songs and, and he lived really close to a Kroger's. And so, you know, late at night we would walk down and we'd get some snacks. And, uh, at that time that was when comedy central was doing their, um, stand up comic specials at like 10 o'clock on a Friday. Yeah. So we'd usually grab some snacks. We'd come back, we'd watch that and then, you know, stay up again, playing music and then just being kids, I guess, you know? So that that was kind of one of my big ones. Hanging out at a friend's house, also a teenage hangout for sure. Yeah. You know, there were lots of uh, times where, where I've done that and, you know, you'd be up all night in most cases, um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember the yep. next day being so tired, I couldn't stay awake and then I'm sleeping all throughout the day. Uh, but yeah, some of the things I kind of remember staying the night at a friend's house. And one of the things that we used to do, it just hit me. We used to, um, randomly turn on a movie or something on, on TV and turn the audio down. And then we would voice the, you know, the, the characters, <laughs> uh, we got to be pretty good at it. We had a, we had a lot of practice and a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I remember a lot. Um, I mean, besides Northgate mall, um, I, I remember a couple, I think you went to more of these than I did Joe, but surf Cincinnati used to have those dances on Friday nights. Yeah. Splash dance. Yeah. Splash dance. <laughs> and I remember going to a couple of them, but I, I, you were a little older than me. You're only like a year and a half older than me. Mm-hmm. And so you were at the age you were going to those more than I was, but, uh, I, I remember going, that was pretty cool. Cause you can swim. They had the wave pool open. If I remember yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, some of the slides, but, uh, yeah, I kind of miss those things, you know, it's just, that like was they, a lot of fun. We always went with friends. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember, man, I guess 14, 15 ish. Sound like yeah. somewhere around there. Probably yeah, splash dance. So, you know, surf Cincinnati, um, was a water park in Cincinnati and, um, you know, they had Friday, I think it was Friday and Saturday nights, they had splash dance and they had a DJ. So playing music, giant speakers, kids everywhere dancing and swimming. And, uh, you know, there was pizza and like, man, it was definitely a cool, cool spot. Yeah. They usually, they had like Q102 up there all the time, I believe. And yeah. uh, a couple of the radio stations, but yeah, that was, that was a pretty cool time. I mean, that was that was the time before we drove. So we didn't have a license yet. So it was like, you always had to get a ride up there. Mm-hmm. Um, a parent. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Usually a parent or, um, you know, it, I mean, we did have friends that were old enough to drive. I mean, really, yeah. and occasionally we could, uh, you know, hitch a ride from one of those guys. 
What about you, Eric? Any other kind of, you know, um, I mean, we had Surf Cincinnati. Do you have anything kind of like that or? Never really did the whole Surf Cincinnati. I mean, we go up to Kings Island on a Friday night or a Saturday night and, you know, go ride rides and, uh, you know, just have a good time there. But no, I never, I actually never went to Surf Cincinnati. I knew of it. I, I definitely knew of it, but just did not grow up. Mm-hmm. Of going to that place. Uh, I mean, another one of mine is probably, you know, like uh, when I was growing up, my uh, the church that I went to, we used to have some Friday night events and kids would come and we'd play video games and there was a basketball court in there. So we played all those games. And so you have like all your friends coming around and you're just in a in a space where you can have fun. You know, you're safe. Your parents know you're safe. And um, when I was when I was in high school, I was in a little little band and we played there a couple of times and and it was a lot of fun i mean we just you know everybody's just hanging out and uh having a good time and thankfully like i said you know you're in a you're in a spot where your parents know you're safe so they're they're obviously going to let you go there they're like well you know we know nothing bad's going to happen so we're mm-hmm. good so we could stay out pretty late i was also in bands and you know since i was a kid and uh since you mentioned that i do recall like having garage concerts <laughs> yeah um, oh yeah and you know sometimes like you know we, we had a friend that like the parents they were the cool parents they did they didn't care they allowed us to be able to do this uh-huh. but the garage door open had the full band in there and all the kids would come over and, and you know that was our little concert that we have so yeah uh, definitely another kind of hangout playing music and yeah. having the neighborhood kids uh hanging out so I've been there. I've done that. I mean, you know, at some point in the night, one of the parents makes like a bonfire, you yeah. know, and you're like, okay, well, there's our, there's our lighting for the evening. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so makes it a lot of fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Another place I remember going to, uh, you know, a couple of times, I mean, I think a lot was roller skating. Um, by us, we had a, actually two different roller rinks. We had the skating place, uh, which was up in, I guess it's considered White Oak area. Yeah, Grossbeck, uh, White Oak. Yep. Yeah, Grossbeck. Then, um, then Golden Skates out in Sharonville. Mm-hmm. That was the big one. That was the big popular kind of a, place to go. Kind of a nicer one too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, that that place was packed. I mean, that's when roller skating was in. I mean, it was it was just kind of cool to hang out. Of course, you know, you skate, and you also have video games there too. So yeah, you know, it's kind of find people from school and stuff and kind of hang out for a while you know wear yourself out so brian did you ever go to a uh, castle skateland down in loveland no never no, been never there. there never that was there. that was kind of one maybe not when i was a teenager maybe a little bit younger than that but they used to have um you know discount nights for students and so you just go up and take your roller skates or you'd rent them or if you had roller blades you know grab those and just have a night out of it and Usually what we would try and do is just crash into the wall and fly over it, but <laughs> it's still a good time. I yeah. remember the, um, I remember the all night skates, uh, skating, right? Oh like yeah. The, the sleepover or whatever, you know, you get dropped off and stuff like that. But I also remember being a kid and hanging out and like having a crush and having that girl that was also at the skating rink. Oh yeah. And when they put on the, the slow song, right. <laughs> that was your opportunity to. <laughs> to man up and, and, and ask for a slow skate. And, uh, you know, your hands are sweaty and, you know, you're super nervous, but, um, I kind of remember doing that. I think After skating following places, her around all night, you know, yeah. around the <laughs> rink. <laughs> I think skating places are still kind of a popular place for kids, uh, teenagers. Um, yeah, a lot of them are closed up though. I mean, I remember even as a younger kid you know, in an elementary, uh, I lived over in Delhi, uh, Western Rollerama. That that one finally closed about I don't know five six years ago, I think. Hmm. But um, I actually went back there as an adult a couple times to skate, and you know it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's like man, I was like this is like taking me back to when I was a kid. But <laughs> unfortunately, the place didn't survive. So yeah, as, roller as a lot always. of our hangouts, I mean they're gone. You know yep. they. Times change, uh, you know, amusements change what people like. I mean, unfortunately, uh, things do move on and progress into different things. 
So let's, let's fess up here. Let's be honest. Did you ever claim that you're hanging out with a friend and ended up actually doing something else? Like the whole plan was to do, do something else. You know, you told your parents you were hanging out at so-and-so's house or whatever. And then that maybe that person was saying they were hanging out at your house. Uh, no, I never. Never did anything like that? No. Okay. No. You're a good kid, I guess. No. <laughs> Yo, there's, there's people I know that listen to this. I've never, ever done that before. Man, I was really hoping we get a nugget on that one there, but I guess not. <laughs> Dude, all the time. All of the time. That's yep. how, I mean, when you got, you know, later in high school, you know, you got into, you know, different things. And um, yeah, of course you, you know, would say stuff. I mean, yeah, you know, I, I can remember times of it, and I guess maybe this is one hangout that hasn't gone away, but you know, we'd say we're going over to a friend's house and we'd go, you know, run around in the woods late at night mm. and, you know, basically doing tear- something you knew you wouldn't get permission to do otherwise. Yeah. I, well, I mean, that's, that's kind of a little bit, you know, innocent, I would say, but yeah. you know, just doing stuff like that all of the time. Yeah, of course you would. Or you snuck out of your house or, you know, for the most part as a teenager, I, as long as I was not up to no good and careful and didn't hurt myself, it's like, you know, I could pretty much do whatever I wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was, uh, of course my dad kept me in a lot. I mean, of course too, I was probably about what, 15 when I started working at La Rosa's when we worked there, then, then mm-hmm. he eased up on me, you know, he realized I wasn't going to get in trouble. La Rosa's pizza. And, uh, so I remember a lot of times uh, we both worked there. Joe and I both worked there mm-hmm. and uh, our friend Chris worked there. He was a delivery driver. Yep. <laughs> and we were, uh, we were slaying pizzas is what we used yeah, to say. Slaying pizzas. Slaying and, uh, pizzas. We would uh, hurry up, try to get out of there at, you know, one o'clock yeah. and uh, just go riding around. And, you know, sometimes we just rode around, but uh, yeah, you know, just you driving to- around with your friends with the radio on and just being goofy and, you know, silly. I mean, another one hit me, uh, pool hall. I mean, oh, yeah. definitely even, you know, as a teenager and even when I was a young adult, hung out at the pool hall, you know, that's, yeah. uh, what always, you know, always did that. There were a couple that we used to go to quite o- often and, um, that was always fun. I, I mean, I got to the point where I really enjoyed playing pool and start buying your own pool stick. And I remember one year I actually got into the um, the, but the bud light or the bush, I don't know what it was. Some, some bracket, something or other champion, whatever. I don't know. It's been so long ago and I actually did pretty well with it. I advanced and I'm getting off topic right now, but anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> I, uh, pool hall, that was another fun teenage hangout. I remember doing that too. Sharks and shooters. Yeah. That's where I got in a couple of those tournaments too. I mean, I, I was okay, but I was never, you know, there's always somebody way better. <laughs> yeah. Had the jukebox, had the food, had the, you yeah. know, the, uh, the drinks and, uh, yeah, cool, cool hangout spot. Video games too, of course. Oh yeah. Joe, I thought of one that, uh, cause you and I both said, you know, we're musicians. Um, but especially in the fall, a lot of my Friday nights were spent up at the school, you know, at the uh, high school football game. Cause I was in the drum line. Yeah. And so, you know, you'd, you'd be playing during the game. You did, you know, cheering them on. And at the time my school was, they were decent. I mean, we're pretty good. And then after, you know, you would go to a friend's house or you'd go grab, I don't know, like McDonald's or Wendy's where it was always open till like, you know, one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock. So you just go grab some chicken nuggets and sit in their parking lot mm-hmm. until eventually the employees came out and they're like, Hey, you kids got to go away, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Friday night football games, that was yeah. a big one for me in college or in high school. Yeah. We've been to that, a few. That, was, that definitely was not me. <laughs> I, I did <laughs> not, not go. I was not a, I mean, I played some sports. I wrestled, uh, but that was the extent I didn't do the, the football games yeah there were t- there were um, times i, I where- was anti-popular you know i was always against the green i was myself i didn't i i didn't feel i had to belong in the click you know so mm. i didn't do uh, a lot of the preppy stuff as i would say yeah. i had to be there <laughs> else the band director would have been like you're out of the drum line <laughs> <laughs> but i mean you know i mean for a lot of people i think friday night football you know, is a, is a big thing, especially during the fall. I mean, 
you know, it's, it's huge. Yeah. There were times where uh, my friends and I did do like a Friday night football game. Um, I wasn't really big into sports. I think at that period of my life, I was probably the hood, right? So for yeah. those of you who don't know, look it up. I don't know. Is that still a term? Jean jacket, long hair, black t-shirt. Short for um, hoodlum. Short for hoodlum, up to no good. No, uh, but we would just kind of walk around. Just I don't know. I, I really wasn't interested in football, and I don't think any of my friends were. Maybe one or two, but mm-hmm. it was just about walking around and making sure people saw you. I think, and just checking out your cool jean jacket. <laughs> I don't know what the point was, but your jean jacket with either Iron Maiden patch on the back or yep. Metallica. Uh-huh. Or, uh huh. I still sport a know, jean jacket, but yeah, or Metal um, Church or something. Yeah. That's right. And, uh, yeah, just walking around. And of course, um, you know, there were times where we would meet, um, under the bleachers just because <laughs> it was just a place to meet. I don't know. And maybe set off a firework or two. Yeah. It was there. Know, it was something. <laughs> there were things to do. So anyways, yeah. Super fun, man. Um, any other teenage hangout spots? Uh, unfortunately, Chris cannot join us for this episode. So I would imagine that Chris would probably also have some, teenage hangs hangout spots that he uh would love to share but um yeah man fun stuff we were teenagers we did some cool stuff we hung out at some cool places we got older we got tired <laughs> we went to bed earlier i don't know but uh yeah man this was a fun one all right Hey, well, thanks for listening to this episode of Inside Amusements. Visit us at InsideAmusements.com. Follow us on social media. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We appreciate you. Thanks so much for the support. And we'll see you in the next one.